Hello and welcome back to Let's Play The Witcher 3 Blind. I'm Circle Master and I have to ride all the way across this island, it feels like, to get to... Okay, to get to the site of the explosion, or cataclysm, or whatever we're calling it. Hopefully I will see you then and not be waylaid by nonsense, but I will probably be waylaid by nonsense. Oh, we made it through the dark forest. And we're back to the happy music and some tents. Ah, oh, the druids camp. Hello, druids. You're mad, woman. Where are you mad, going? I say. <laughs> Can hear you two clear on the other side of the island. Good. May all Skellige know. Jennifer of Vengerberg is a common thief! Control yourself, Druid. I haven't stolen anything. I've merely borrowed something and fully intend to return it. Ha! The generosity. Just one small problem. Once used, the mask is rendered completely worthless. Not to mention the risk you'll bury us alive and all the Isles with us. Yeah, I won't miss you either. Barry, what are you talking about? She's not told you? Might have expected as much. The myth is that Urborus created the mask when the envious seas swallowed his beloved. Unable to bear the prospect that he would never again see his patrol, Urborus made the mask, which would allow him to peer into the past. He knew, however, that he could only use it once. Why would he make the mask like that? Until his longing grew so strong that it became unbearable. When the sea learnt of the mask, it was quick to respond. Why would the sea care? It's threat that whosoever used the mask would bring the sea's wrath down on them. For in vengeance, the sea would rise and flood all the lands and drown the living. That sounds fair. Where do you get this mask? Sailors from Clan Dimmon pulled it from the sea. Near the Nyor Trench. Yeah, but how can you be sure this is Urboros's mask? Its appearance is exactly as described in the myths. You believe the myths? Only ignorant fools belittle their significance. Besides, it's not the myths that are on trial here. It's the thief. Theft or no theft, Krach gave us free reign. First off, this might indeed be his isle. But we, the druids, watch that no alien magic taste hold here. Second no, just native magic. After the cataclysm occurred, Krach turned to us for help and trusted this site to our care. Third! What? What was that? It was you shutting up, I hope. Jennifer's used the mask. I mean, how about we don't do that and just see what happens? Because, you know, if everything's swallowed up here, it kind of would make my stay shorter. And I have no problem with that. Just as a big old heads up to anybody listening. Great. Well, it did auto switch me to a useful find, so I do appreciate that. What was that? Unicorns. Damn it, Yen. I saw the foglets. I meant how they get here. The power of the mask summoned them. What now? The mask reveals the past, but only in certain places. Places where past events left a strong magical imprint. This mask seems super limited. Oh hey, I have another yes. thing. I'll cast a spell that will let me see through your eyes. Well, let's go. This way. Already found the first spot. Didn't I do this already? 
with uh, the magic lantern. Right, there is a thing to loot. I want to see what they drop. They only drop teeth. Okay, that's lame. I did this with the magic lantern and the other thing. Okay, do I go that way or do? People emerged from it. The woman was Siri. How can you know? The way she moved, like a witcher. Seems they went that way. Come, let's find the next one. Yeah, this super feels like the exact same thing we did with the Mage's Tower. No, I'm gonna loot the thing first. Okay, the thing has no loot. Never mind. What was I watching out for? A magic explosion of some sort. So powerful that even the echo was dangerous. I wager it destroyed the forest. But Siri and her companion weren't harmed. I saw them escape. Let's see where to. Place is creepy. I don't like it. Nor do I. Anyone here when this happened had a slim chance of surviving. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry. Siri can take care of herself. Well, ready? Already doing it. Oh, they turned on each other. See that? Might have wounded her. She escaped through another portal. Know where it led? It led somewhere else. Any chance you can figure out where Ciri's companion fled to? His portal's gotta be nearby. I'll try to find it. Come. Well. I guess I'm going back to Velen. It's been a short stay, but an unexciting one. Don the mask. Nice fight. One repelled the other with powerful magic, then fled through a portal. A mage? Most likely. It was Deathmold. Didn't he die in Witcher 2? I literally can't remember whether Deathmold lived or died. In Witcher 2. No. I don't. Making an educated guess. They both appeared in the previous visions. Ciri's got a powerful ally. Maybe it's that elf mage that we Maybe went after in Velen. Got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. Ermion must be getting a handle on the weather. Which means he'll be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with yourselves? Look at what you brought down on us. We'll see what Krach has to say about this. Relax. Storm's died down. You've clearly got things under control. For now? But who knows what will be a week or two on? Stop panicking. Here's your mask. It is worthless. It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. I hope you've learned something useful at least. Very. I'm talking to Geralt. You. You I'll deal with later. I highly doubt that. Got a feeling we found something interesting. Just need to examine one more thing. Look for a body. Something's pinned under that tree. Can you? I can. It does not show up on Witcher Sense, apparently. That was purely cinematic. Why did it give me control for that? Like, this could have been one cutscene. Armor's clean. No blood, no sword nicks. Ciri's friend must have... What do you call it? Vaporized him. Exquisite. The armor. All the workmanship's unfamiliar. Can't even tell where it's from. It's from the Wild Hunt. To a writer of the Wild Hunt. What? So it's true? The Wild Hunt? I feared as much. First here, then on Hindersfjall. What did they want? They're looking for Siri. But why? It's a long story that involves the Elder Blood, Siri's abilities. Did she, perchance, inherit her mother's skills? Siri can do much more than her mother could. 
But right now, we're much more interested in what the Wild Hunt was doing on Hindisfjall. Well, it happened at least a fortnight after the Cataclysm struck here on Ard Skellig. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk in a blizzard. Itself a strange occurrence for that time of year. It's almost like the music. The raids, they barged into their huts, killed anyone who resisted, then galloped inland, laughing fiendishly. Anyone survive? A dozen or so women and an old man. Next stop, Hindersfjall. I'll meet you on the beach. Why isn't it next stop, Velen? Wait, can't we go together? Right now? But you detest being teleported. Don't exactly like potions either, but I drink them when I have to. <laughs> you also drink them when there's no need at all. Very well. Let's go. Stay close to me. Good luck to you. Inform me once you've learned anything new. I absolutely will not. But seriously, why aren't we going to Velen? That's where Siri went. But if I remember correctly, Lofton should be this way. Hey, I gained a level. Main quest seems to give you way more XP than side quests do. This must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the wild hunt. The best time to talk about it is after I've played it, when the spoilers will not affect me. No spoilers. Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption, but we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So... And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak. We're looking for a young woman, name of Siri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She is not here. Shuck, she she's in Velen. We already established that. Recall one by that name. But I buried so many. I may have forgotten. This this Siri. Has she a scar here on her cheek? Yes. Yes, what happened to her? I don't know. Saw her but for a moment. Right before before it all. She was in the stables with Craven. A thousand curses upon him. Craven the Hunter? From Marvel Comics? Does he have a name? He did. Until the Elder struck him from the Saga of Ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him. I read a really weird what-if comic about Craven the Hunter killing Spider-Man and then, like, eating a million spiders to become Spider-Man. And then the Fantastic Four got him. It was really stupid. You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkvag. Where is this holy garden? Not far from here. North. We cultivated healing herbs there once. And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. We place our offerings and make our pleas before it. Those who venture below remain in the garden forever. Man, if I go back to Velen, or I guess I should say when I go back to Velen, I'm going to be sorely tempted to help the Bloody Baron against those crones. Speaking of... Speaking of people that are worshipped in the woods, that, but left alone. Killed children. Pregnant women. Mm -hmm. Know the type. They said he feared only one thing. The wrath of the gods. Borkvarg sought to prove how wrong they were. So he sailed to Hindusfjall to ransack the goddess's garden. This was over a decade ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his way. He thrust a blade between her ribs and cast her down in the mud. As her lifeblood left her, she cursed him. And Morkvarg transformed into a beast. A curse? A monster? You've got some work to do. Why? I'm not here to work. I doubt Morkvarg cares. Monsters prowl when they will and where they will. Fine. He comes within reach of my sword, I'll deal with him, but only then. Thanks for your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden. 
I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds. But so be it. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freyr as well. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due. She lied. Why do I have to do this, by the way? What am I even doing? Whoops. Alright, I guess I have to do this. Where am I even going? It's right over there. Okay. Well, that's easy. Where's my horse button? I need my horse button and then my horse. And then I'm off. Faster. Wait, why do I still have to do a thing here? Do I have to do the... Oh, I just have to follow Yennefer there. Come on, Yennefer, I'm taking a horse. Let's go. Whoa there, Roach. Please keep going. Please keep going. The gods. You are killing me. Move it. Oh, trail might have gone cold. you're just gonna match my speed? How exactly? Hey, I found a guarded treasure. Could stand to be nicer sometimes. I suppose. But then I wouldn't be the woman you fell in love with. Hey, Geralt, come back. Why? So that you can continue to be slow and slow me up. Slow down. My my, that must be more clever. A bite. Just one morsel. It's Ganon. One piece. A crumb. Fade. Fade. <coughs> Shank. Not, not again. Not again! <coughs> You need some pumped abysmal, it sounds like. He doesn't seem happy to see us. Wait till he gets a closer look at me. So, where shall we start? Let's go to that tree the sisters mentioned. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily, but Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Bloodstains. See them? No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. Not like you. Which is why you should stay up here. No offense, but in that undergrowth and mud, you'd be like a... Ball and chain? Plan to say it gentler, but yeah, that's basically what I had in mind. Fine. We'll do as you say. If the need arises, I can cast spells from up here. Good. Fine. See you later then. Don't get hurt. Remember, I need you if I'm to find Siri. Oh, come. I was just teasing. Fool. I need you. Period. Better? See, this, this is a more acceptable level of teasing and back and forth than what I was greeted with at the very start of the game, so... Please hit the examine thing. Blood. Flowing profusely. Trails clear. Should lead me to him. Do do. Do I need to hit E on something again? Like, it, it pretty clearly shows going down. Maybe I need to hit E again. Craven trod carefully. The game's a little finicky about when it wants you to hit these prompts and when it wants you to just follow them. And we're off again. What the heck is that thing? Why can't I examine it? There we go. 
Morkvark doesn't need his victims. Strange. Is it Craven? No, this one's been here a while. What? I can't hear you. If you want to chat, come closer. Her senses are really dulled. Monster tracks. Running. Chasing something. Probably the person. Can I open this from this side? No. Nope. Rude. Like Morkvark got bored of sneaking around and attacked. Hey, speaking of attacks. How dare you? I must eat bread for this insult. Oh, right. I'm still on the wrong side. Let's fix that. No, I wanted to loot more. Thank you. That wasn't the loot. Raven's blood. That also isn't the loot. All right, on we go. Please hit the thing. Started running. I would be happier with this if these were less finicky. Right, I examined the monster tracks forever ago. Door won't budge. Craven must have blocked it, or it's just locked. Gotta go round. Uh, I jump up here? No, not remotely. This looks like a spot. Maybe? What just happened there? Okay, that's a pretty buggy spot. Let's try the other side. Hey, we did it. That doesn't open, I guess. Supposed to get up on that? I'm not sure. Well, I found a place with basically nothing in it. And another locked door. And another locked door. What is with the locked doors? Okay, so let's try going all the way around. I'm really not sure what this wants from me. Like, there is a monster down there. I can't get down there. There is nothing for me in any of these places. Am I literally just supposed to have circled back and gone here? Is it that stupid that I was supposed to continue the path I had already trodden to discover that now a thing was open that wasn't before? Because guess what? I'm unhappy if so. Another corpse. No bite marks here either. Lots of prints, old and new. His lair must be nearby. I found his lair already. Found something. But everything is locked. Right, so I have all of this. Oh, there. Jeez. Can't cross that. Gotta go down, provided I can open the sluice. Oh, jeez. Pretty standard. One lever to choose the sluice gate, the other to work it. Cool.
Did I do it? Is it over now? I'm not sure. It sure seems like not. Maybe I did? Like, the credits go up here. Why would I not go in here? Key. Ramond. Where's the key? All I have in the chapter house. The crate. But the key. Where's the key? Why so silent? Ramond. You thief. You rogue. You whore son. You worthless bastard. I will find the key without you, idiot, stupid prick. Whoa. I'm your stick. It's the curse uh, makes me bite, uh, scratch, mangle, uh, till I drop. Uh, uh, you've got time before the blood's gone from me, and, and I return. Listen uh, uh, carefully. Okay. Undo, undo the curse. Uh, free me. Uh, finally, I will, I will reward you. How would I do that? So, no joy in being a werewolf? Nay. It's the worst. Not the garden to which I'm bound, even. But the hunger. Anything I devour returns to ash. Ash I cannot eat. I cannot drink. Yet I bloody live in Rome and prowl. This is like, um, something from I have no mouth and I must scream. I bite my own flesh, but the smallest morsel burns in my throat, throat. like boiling tar. Everlasting hunger. Classic as curses go. Goes to explain why all those corpses went untouched. Help, or I'll return to shred you, rip your limb from limb. I don't think you'll do that. See what I can do. See and do, or I shall return. I don't think this will do anything, but let's try it. Have some, uh, have some, what have I got? I don't even know what that's from. Here, have some candy. Okay. Is, is... We can do this the easy way. Morkvarg, of my own free will, I offer you this fare. Now dig in. Won't turn to ash. Won't know until you try. Come on, a spoonful for daddy. <laughs> This shite again! Let's see what we can do about nonsense. 
You well, okay. Well, you you dropped all your stuff. Uh, I will find out what to even do about any of this stupid puzzle area next time because my timer ran out forever ago. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, take care.